You don't seem to understand. It's not for GCOM to automatically go into preparing for the election outside of an order from the president given a date. The or president has to give a date for elections, and that is what GCOM has to work with because there are statutory dates leading up to that date. You can't determine those statutory dates outside of an order. That was Commissioner Vincent Alexander speaking with media operatives moments after a meeting with members of the ABCE diplomatic community this morning. He rejected accusations that it is the elections body that is delaying the holding of general and regional elections. According to Alexander, what is required of GCOM is for it to stay at its level of preparedness, which is what the Commission has done. So to accuse GCOM of flying in the face of the Constitution is not to understand GCOM's role. GCOM doesn't set an election date. GCOM responds to a set election date and the fact that the emissaries were sent it was a clear understanding by those who sent them and have to find out what is GCOM state of preparedness. Is the president obliged to, um, to take whatever advice he gave or he can call a date on his own bearing in mind all the circumstances? Um, legally he might not be obliged but certainly in the terms of the spirit of the constitution and in terms of uh, any logical framework one would expect him to take that advice and more than that more than that, we have precedents of them taking advice. GCOM recently voted to continue its normal activity and to inform the president that new general elections cannot be held by the constitutional March deadline. In light of that announcement, this morning's meeting with the diplomats was held. The foreign delegation included Canadian High Commissioner Lillian Chatterjee, Deputy Chief of Mission at the United States Embassy Terry Steers Gonzalez, Deputy High Commissioner of the United Kingdom to Guyana Ray Davidson, and the Minister Councillor and Deputy Head of the European Union. The diplomats met with GCOM's chairman, commissioners, and members of the Commission's secretariat. During the meeting, the diplomats posed questions and sought clarifications from the GCOM representatives on elections preparations. Speaking with reporters following the more than two hours engagement, Commissioner Sayeskan Raj disclosed that concerns were also expressed by the diplomats. One member of the delegation that we met made it very clear to us and, and brought it to our attention that the current impasse that the country finds itself in is affecting the inward uh, flow of investment to this country and that recognition by that person with whom we met is a recognition that this country ought to come to and the longer that this situation continues it affects the livelihood it affects the progress that this country will make according to the commissioners there were no suggestions or advice from the foreign diplomats reporting for the evening news final manic chant